Guy Harvey, artist, scientist, angler, diver, conservationist, and family man. Journey with Guy to the world's greatest fishing waters, where every fish, every fight is a window on another world. Where every catch is a portrait from the deep, waiting to be painted. Go exploring with Guy in the last wild country under the waves. Well, Jimmy, it's great to be here on your mothership, the Holokai, on, on one of your fishing expeditions here in Mexico. How did the Oceanic Conservation Organization come about? Well, we've been fishing all over the world for the past 20 years, and we've seen a decline in the number of billfish. So some of my friends and I, some concerned individuals, started OCO and, and went and found some of the top scientists to, to do research on billfish. Why did you choose billfish? Well, billfish, the decline of billfish really is, is kind of a, a reflection on the ocean in general, the, the top predator fish in the ocean, and it kind of reflects on the overall health of the ocean. Who have you co-opted to come aboard your scientific advisory panel? Dr. Jay Rooker, uh, Texas a and does uh, early life studies. Uh, Dr. John Graves, Dr. Julian Pepperall from Australia, right. Dr. Kim Holland from Hawaii. That's quite a, a wide cross-section across the world. Of course, billfish being such a cosmopolitan species, you would need to address it as a, as a worldly problem, a global problem. One of the main drawbacks you know, in the scientific community is getting the information, the, the results of the research work, out to the public in a manner that they can understand. So how has OCO helped you with that? I think what OCO has done by, by supporting your TV series uh, that, that we all of a sudden have an amplification of, of viewers and readership to understand the significance of the results that not only myself but a lot of other um, billfish scientists ha have made. And so I think through your program and OCO's support of your series um, that we're, getting, we're having a huge amplification and distribution of our results which can hopefully impact management on a global scale. Kent is hooked up yet again to another magnificent Atlantic sailfish. He's going! Watch him go! Whoa! Whoa! Watch him jump here! Whoa! He's taking line! <laughs> Beautiful sailfish! Doesn't like that new predator. He doesn't at all! Whoa! I have dived with hundreds of billfish, both hooked and free swimming, and suddenly I feel at risk. Not only does this sailfish charge once, but it repeated the move, its body language saying, stay away from me, just a warning this time. I suppose it goes with the territory. For me to get the incredible underwater footage of these fish, I have to spend a lot of time in the water with them. Whoa. You got him? John has requested Obi that this sail be boarded so he can take the remoras. This is a move impossible to achieve in the water, so the sailfish is carefully boarded, held down, and the remoras taken from the gill cavity. The process takes about 30 seconds at most, and the sailfish is returned to the water as quickly as possible. John has shown in an earlier study that the sailfish suffer no long-term effects, having been taken from the water for a short time. However, John does not recommend that anglers take sailfish from the water unnecessarily or hold them on the gunnel for an extended period for photos. You have the little baby gun? Yeah. Woo, that's a small fish. So there were probably a pair of them. They were way up in the gill cavity. You know, so I went right on up there to I, get I it. I saw you reach way up in yeah. there, yeah. All right. Well, that was interesting. Did you get your remora? He got his fish. Well done. I got mine. He got awesome. his little bitty one. Cool. You know, for the first time, I got frightened of a sailfish. Yeah. <laughs> Twice he attacked me. Yeah, and he right. used the camera to fend him off. Oh, really? You're kidding. It was unbelievable. Okay, so we've got samples. You know, we're just taking fin clips here and trying to get large sample sizes of sailfish all over the world. And just from this little fin clip, you know, we can get the DNA and amplify the gene that we're or genes that we're looking at to look at population structure. Genetic research between different populations. Right, exactly, looking at the population structure. 